Hello, everybody. So, um, I almost said good morning, but because I'm usually on in the mornings, but <clears throat> excuse me. I uh, just got home from church and I'm actually sitting in my garage, my car. I haven't got out of the car yet, but um, I had a thought this morning and I wanted to get on here and share it, even though I'm coming on live again tonight. Hey, Michelle. Um, I'm coming on live again tonight at 7. So, all my single ladies, um, single parents, like, you want to get on. Um, anyway, I had a thought this morning and I wanted to share it because I had it this morning before I went to church. And then when I was leaving church, I was like, I had a thought this morning that I wanted to share and it was really good. And now I don't remember it, but I finally remembered it. So I'm going to share it now before I forget again. Hey, Susan. So, um, if you've watched, uh, I think one of my other videos, I made mention of, um, the names being removed from the Bible and replaced with titles, like how it's the Lord um, and God as opposed to um, the names. And um, so this morning I had a visual of being at Waterfront Park at a concert. And obviously there's a crowd of people and I need to call my child. I'm not going to yell out, son, son, <laughs> because there's going to be a lot of people there potentially that are sons. Uh, and actually sometimes, um, if you notice, you'll have a child who will say mom and a whole bunch of moms will look. Um, so, um, I just wanted to give that visual to you guys for when we are, um, reading our Bible and when we're praying like that we really need to know the name of the God that we serve especially in the world that we live in today because everybody who even claims to be Christian is not necessarily serving the God of the Bible and that's a scary thought um, but that's the reality that we live in. We need to know the name of the God that we serve. And we need to say that name. Um, and, and I even go as far back, which you guys don't have to, and it's fine if you don't. But I even go as far back as to call Jesus his Hebrew name. I call him Yeshua. And when I refer to him, I refer to him as Yeshua for the most part. If I'm in a group of people that wouldn't understand that, then I'll say Jesus. But uh, for the most part, I even call him his original Hebrew name, um, because that's another, that's another issue that I have where I'm like, I don't really understand why they changed his name. Um, because if I go to another country, like they don't change my name, like, cause I even, you know, learned how to say my name in Spanish or, or um, like give a greeting in Spanish, you know, and give a greeting in French. And my name was still Margaret in either of those situations, even though the words before and after it are a little different, my name is still Margaret and they have to learn how to say my name the way it is. They don't give me a new name because I'm in a different country that speaks a different language. So I don't understand why they changed it. Well, I kind of have a theory, but, um, so anyway, so those are just my thoughts and I wanted to get it out there before I forget, but we don't go around for the most part you know, calling our family members by their title. We call them by their names. Um, you know, I don't call my son, son. I call him Christopher. Um, I don't call my daughter, daughter. I call my daughter, Jessica, and I call my daughter, Olivia, because that's their name. Um, I don't call my grandchildren, hey, granddaughter. You know, her name is Isabella. Her name is Sayla. Um, you know, and the same for my grandson. So it's just a thought. Um, yeah, and I just wanted to share it because I've mentioned it one other time before and I had that really good picture this morning. So I wanted to, uh, share the picture with you so you guys could maybe understand a little bit better where I'm coming from on this. And again, we will be back on live tonight at seven o'clock. I'll have a special guest and, um, we will be speaking to single ladies, um, in particular. I'm not saying that everybody can't get on and watch because you're welcome to. You might still get some beneficial information or some understanding of 
you know, single people and things like that, that you might not have thought before to where you can help other people that are single in your life. So there could be some benefit, but specifically we're going to be speaking uh, from the perspective of single ladies. And um, if we get to it, uh, single parenting. So I hope to see you guys later tonight and you guys have a great day.